okay how am I going to tackle this bit I'm going to try and go up this rock but I might have made a mistake Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. We are Lavi and Olli and we are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. New haircut, new dress, old t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Just the old t-shirt for me. It is day number 148 and we are here on this beautiful little island called Ila de Paqueta in the Guanabara Bay of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. We are currently waiting for our beloved Suzuki V-Strom 1050 XT Bumblebee to arrive here by container ship from Senegal in West Africa. So in the meantime, we decided to make some special videos to sum up our 7,000 miles on the road so far. And what a better way to start than with our crashes, fails and struggles. Yeah, apparently it was really hard for us to keep Bumblebee upright the whole time. So enjoy. <laughs> okay. Oop. Oop, 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 oop. <laughs> this is an adventure bike. This bike is ready to go on dirt roads. It's ready to go off-road. We just have to be ready to go with it. Quite a big one. Okay, wait, wait, wait! Oh f <laughs> sorry. It's good to have a scout of the whole place. I'll turn around. Yeah. Okay, awesome. It's okay? Yep. Oh, don't over! Don't over! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, 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 my I didn't look at all these. Oh, 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 oh you okay? You okay? No, no. <laughs> sorry. Oh man, it was really soft all of a sudden, and the bike was just moving around like crazy. And then there's nothing we can do. Oh, luckily there's some guys to come and help us pick it up. But keeping Bumblebee upright wasn't our only challenge. We also had to contend with some crazy road conditions. First, there was the weather. Ready for the rain. Yeah. 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 Our first time riding in the rain since we got Bumblebee. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be rain probably for the rest of the ride. 51 miles to go. So I guess we'll just have to just let it hit us, push through. Take it easy and we'll be all right. <laughs> the sunshine is over. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday was a complete disaster. It's raining. We're just gonna wait here a minute and see if it stops. Put our rain jackets on. I can't believe it's raining and there's a storm. In the Sahara. Probably the one time in a year. <laughs> That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Nail. 
It is super, super windy here. I mean, I don't know if you can see the angle of the bike at the moment, but this wind is just smashing us from this side as the wind blows in from the coast. Wow. I think this is one of the strongest winds we've ever encountered. This is like, it's like nearly undrivable. I'm not even going fast. I'm going like just over 50 miles an hour. Oh my God. Whoa, that is some really strong wind now. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm really having to lean against this now. Look at this truck. It's like almost tipping the truck over. Wow. That's quite scary, hey? Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. No, no. Oh. This is just insane. Look, the massive amount of sand just next to us. Oh this is really out of this world. I mean, look how big the sand dunes are. <laughs> They've already taken over half of our lane. Oh my God. And then the wind is hitting us like 90 degrees. Pam! Wow. Insane. <laughs> what a ride. Look how windy and sandy it is out here. This is a pretty hostile environment to drive in, I must admit. And look, sand blowing over the road. We've got a strong wind coming from the coast. Oh my God, it's just mental. Yeah, it's super uncomfortable. It's very not nice at all. <laughs> and then there was the heat. I don't know how we will survive the day because the temperature just climbed in the last 10 minutes by five degrees. So it was 30 degrees just over there and now it's on 36. Yeah, we're gonna be hitting some very high temperatures and uh, that might be the end of the day for us there. I mean, I don't know if it gets really, really much hotter, I think we'll have to just give up. You wouldn't believe it, but 41 degrees the bike is registering 41 degrees when I lift my visor up it's like when you open the door of the oven so it's by far the hottest day on the road so far it's unbelievable it's really 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 hot <laughs> so our aircon yeah homemade aircon homemade aircon <laughs> so we've had to stop to put water on ourselves because it's about 38 degrees here now as we've come inland and it is super 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 hot and the wind is so hot temperature is 32 degrees and it feels like 40 degrees <laughs> yeah it's a humid 32 that's for sure yeah oh, seriously when you're not moving it's almost unbearable on the bike here i mean it's so hot and humid like without any wind whoa sauna suit we haven't really slept very well the last two days because it's too hot and mosquitoes and again it's just too hot and then there was the road itself oh that is quite a big rock oh my god yeah nice and slow I just stay on the inside track so that I don't fall down the hill. It's okay, it's okay. I just do a little wheel spin. We don't know if this is a good idea, but uh, this is the entrance into the area that we're looking to camp. So river crossing, first time, let's go. 
Okay, nice and straight, nice and smooth. There we go. That's how you do it. Yes! After some deliberation, we've decided that this is the right camp for us tonight. I just have a little bit of off-road maneuvering to do before we get there. So, I'm going to attempt to do it right now. We're just beginning to arrive in the Gorafi Desert Badlands. See how this road is. This first gear, just nice and easy. Okay, we have to remember this crack there. <laughs> uh, got a little river crossing. <laughs> Not too bad. You see that? We can do off-road too! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over this like bump. Yeah? Okay. Okay, got to get around this sandy corner. Oh, oh, that's a bit deep. Okay, okay. Oh, sandy start to the morning. We just hit a bit of sand, like blown onto the road. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay, so this, this road is like half under construction. This sort of like a dirt road that we took. And look at the, the loose gravel here. Yeah, yeah, I will. It's okay. It's okay, I'll just go nice and easy. Oh no, sweetheart, there's a truck in front just dropping gravel. Oh, oh no. I need to see how far this is. Oh, Jesus. Um. Not too easy, eh? Oh, I don't know what to do. I really hope there's no more of that to come. So we just got past that bit of gravel and now there's a whole lot of gravel in front. Oh my God. Well, this road never gives up, eh? It's a real challenge. Very, very nice and easy. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Concentrate on the right. Yep, perfect. <coughs> nice and easy, nice and slow. Yeah, nice and easy, nice and slow. Yeah. This is uh, definitely the most insane road I've ever driven. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. What? I think that's not good. The chain. Oh, 
not good no. not good ah uh, yeah look all of this oh wow <laughs> some uh, big switchbacks coming up <laughs> what is that for a road that's absolutely absolutely insane Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. wow <laughs> it's just so rocky oh my god are you ready to ride the most crazy road we've ever seen yes i oh. am ready <laughs> whoa look at this oh my god <laughs> okay got a few hairpins now a few so hairpins nice and easy nice and slow yes <laughs> I think this is the best road we have ever taken so far. Okay, another hairpin. Oh, oh. Okay, it's okay. It's okay? Yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Just about. Oh my god, just oh. about, hey? And there's <gasps> trucks coming up here as well. Wow. Hoppa. Okay. It's okay. Okay, yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, we just hit like a traffic jam on the gorge. <sighs> Crazy. Okay, we've come across what I think is a landslide because they're clearing the whole thing and they've cut it all away. So I'm pretty sure this was all, this all slid at some point recently. Yeah, I guess the whole cliff just kind of fell away into the valley. Crazy. We've made our way into a little date palm forest area but now we got to see how far we can go the car's going to go first and then i'll follow yeah hold on a second Ugh, wait 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 let me just uh, get past these rocks yep still i'm still upright one second just going to get out of these rocks wow a little bit of sand so i just got to take it super easy and try not to fall off. I'm just going to stand up a little bit. Oh, good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Gotta get away from that. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bumpy road from here to the main road. Just trying to avoid the biggest, the biggest and sharpest of the rocks. Yeah. I just realized, look at the sign. That was probably a quite a bad idea to go and check that out. Looks like a bit of sand in the road coming up. So we're gonna take it quite easy here. I don't think it's very deep. No, no, just go through it. Uh-huh. Yeah, just go, go through it. Yeah, I am. I'm just uh, taking it nice and easy. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Look at the entrance to this petrol station. It's just pure, pure sand, eh? Pure sand. <laughs> oh my God. Before we leave town, we've still got a couple of sand obstacles to pass over, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Nice and easy. Nice and hello. Nice and easy. Well, we definitely hit a lot of uh, a bit of bad road here. Wow. Yeah. We have to start with a uh, like 500 meter ride through the sand to get back to the road. So I have to come round the building here and then down. 
this is where <laughs> this is where the sand gets a little bit deep luckily this part's downhill and we've got that traction by Dunlop <laughs> well, look at the condition of the road here. Wow, so many like potholes all over the road yeah it's a little bit more of a challenge that's for sure whoa look at this <laughs> this is please. That looks a little bit too. <laughs> yeah, I might need a push, but at the moment it's okay. Let's see how I get on. Yeah, the road to this place, not too amazing as you can see. <laughs> Okay, I can see the place, Lavi, I'm nearly there. Oh, got a bit of wheel spin. <laughs> Be careful, doggies. Here we are, this is the place. Oh, whoa! Okay, a little bit of beach. I slid through it. There was also the danger of other road users, especially in cities. Oh my god. Woo, this guy's crazy. Riding around the roundabout. <laughs> Now I just need to find the right exit because there are so many exits here. Ah, okay, all right, we're going. Doesn't look like the people are waiting for the cars. Okay, we're heading on our way out of Nuadibu and a lot of people have woken up it looks like because it is massively busier than what it was when we came in. Look at this sea of old cars. Oh my goodness. We're definitely hitting the traffic now. <laughs> All like massively old bangers that they've sort of painted some panels black and some panels yellow. So we've reached the town of Mbor and we are met with a sea of cars and fumes. Everybody fighting for survival. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to be the first. But eventually we pushed through all the challenges and after three and a half months on the road, we finally dropped off Bumblebee at the container port in Dakar, Senegal to end the first leg of our circumnavigation adventure around the globe. We really can't wait for the next leg to begin here in South America. Please, please, guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel right now and that you share this video with your friends and family. Leave us a comment and a like below. So we will see you next time. Oh, no, I hope this meant good luck, but a monkey just...
on our bike. Look at that. Oh no, what a mess. Oh no.